A global leader in tech recruiting is celebrating Geek Pride by giving away 10 amazing tech prizes. For more info, visit the Modus Facebook page or modus.com. The series of events surrounding Watch Dogs has been interesting, to say the least. Starting with the leaked game that had coin miners injected in the code by the guy that hacked it. Ridiculous. Um, and then going into AMD complaining about NVIDIA Gameworks and how it's actually kept AMD away from the developers of Watch Dogs and has kept them from optimizing the game to run on AMD cards and the performance issues that came from that, which we'll be exploring more later. And then people comparing screenshots and in-game footage to the E3 2012 footage that we see that we saw much earlier, and then comparing that to how the same thing happened with Far Cry, where with the early E3 footage, it looked better than the final version that people actually received. So after all of this crazy storm of news, how does this game actually perform? Now while it's true AMD had very limited time with the game due to games works and all that kind of stuff, kind of similar to how I had very limited time to the game due to not getting reviewer's code, which was not awesome, uh, it, it, it isn't as bad as I expected. When I saw the Forbes article posted on our forum and I saw the massive amount of pages of comments and I read a lot of the comments and I read the Forbes article, I expected serious doom and gloom and then once I started testing the game, it wasn't that bad. The AMD cards are not that far behind their tier equivalent NVIDIA cards. And looking into, seriously, this game needs patches, so Watch Dogs patches in the future, you can probably go see why in other people's actual reviews of the game, but personally I believe it needs some serious patches. And as AMD releases more drivers for Watch Dogs in the future, I expect this gap to close up. And I don't think this is going to be a terrible, terrible issue, although I am for certain that games work Games Works did affect things as far as day one launch goes. In the future, once AMD has had more time with the game and once Watch Dogs is able to release patches of their own, I'll be more than happy to do stuff like 4K benchmarks and 2560x1440p and playing around with a lot more settings, but as of right now it just kind of feels weird. The game shouldn't really be as hard to run as it is. I mean it's a good enough looking game, but it's not exactly making my jaw drop the entire time I'm playing it and any system I throw at it is extremely under stress the entire time. So I'm fairly interested to see what happens here and I recommend unless you have an absolutely ridiculously beast computer, don't even bother with ultra textures because it's insanity. It's going to destroy the VRAM on your cards and you're going to have some, <laughs> you're actually going to have some issues running it. Maybe if you have a 6 gigabyte 780 Ti or something that has 6 gigabytes of VRAM on it, you can play around with that kind of stuff, but that'll be up to you to figure out. Another thing that I might want to stay wary of is to take advantage of your GPU's max buffered frames because this game really needs it and it will really help. I know the party started. It's almost over. Where are you? I'm on my way. This isn't exactly the most ambitious benchmarking run I've ever done. Essentially for the first bit, I just kind of walk to a car while he's on his phone and then grab the first car that's closest to me and then drive around for a little bit. Although the reason why I used it is because I was able to find a pretty repeatable segment within a very short time of having the game. Uh, in future benchmarks, I'll probably find a different segment so that I can get a little bit more flavor into the benchmark, try and get some explosions and whatnot going on, except for the one little simple one that I have in this current benchmark, just to show off the game a little bit more. But then I'm also hoping that by the time I get that going on, there will probably be patches and better drivers and whatnot to support those things as well. When you first get in this car, just look right behind you at the thing on the ground over there and hold Q and it'll make it explode. What I do here is I take off at full speed out of the parking lot, but then once I get onto the road, just because it's random what car will be there, I try to regulate my speed by tapping um, W in a certain pacing and I can kind of compare about how fast I'm going depending on other cars on the road because the cars on the road are usually going about the same speed for every run.
I never actually really stop for this benchmark. Just kind of weave in between cars and stuff. It makes it fairly consistent because I just try to keep my speed about the same the whole time and just weave in between cars, although it does make it so you have to kind of squeeze between things like that from time to time. Also, this traffic light up here is avoidable by just making it green, causing a crash, and then going around the crash. Your benchmark should stop somewhere right about here. This game has been really interesting to follow since launch due to all the controversy and stuff that's been going on around it. Tell me what you think about Watch Dogs in the comment section down below. While you're down there, don't forget to like and dislike the video and subscribe to see more content, unless you already have, in which see more content. Uh, while you're down there, jump over to the forum anyways. Control T, do whatever to open a new tab in your browser. Jump on the forum and join the discussion there. It's often a more highbrow discussion, in my opinion, so I hope you enjoy that. If you get annoyed by the ads, be sure to become a contributor. A contributor at any level on the forum gets rid of all of the ads. And if you want a more interesting shirt than this plain white tee, you can check out the link in the description of this video down below to check out all of the Linus Media Group shirts. We've got some pretty awesome tees there, so you can check that out later. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you guys next time.